in the NCAA tournament. You know, Mike, it, it's ready. Do we have football news? I love basketball, but come on, baby. We got some football <laughs> news, don't we? <laughs> we do. And, you know, we cannot even confirm or deny that this is necessarily SEC related, but whether it is or it isn't, it's going to have ramifications in the SEC, no doubt. And I want to talk about this, Shane. We'll throw it. Let's credit the athletic here for breaking the news. I, I believe this broke late Friday evening, mm -hmm. but uh, according to the athletic, this is, uh, I think it was Stuart Mandel and, and David Ubbin, who's covered Tennessee for many years for the athletic. There is an athlete currently a high school prospect unnamed. They can't, they can't say who it is apparently getting an $8 million mm. NIL deal now, it's not, you know, you throw out all these figures and you say, my God, $8 million to go to a school. It doesn't quite work out that way. According to The Athletic, it's $350,000 immediately. And I believe it's going to be monthly payments to where after three years in college, it will total around $8 million. Mm -hmm. But this is huge, Shane. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously after this story was announced, again, not <laughs> confirming or denying, but... Oh, man, all these crystal balls start coming in for Tennessee and a five-star quarterback. Uh -huh. We know Arch Manning's out there. Could be him. I, I'm not throwing any allegations at anybody, but it's just pretty wild, chain, isn't it, that, uh, you know, this is where we are a, a year or so after NIL was announced. And I don't know. I just wanted to get your thoughts because I did see the uh, balls with the money sign retweet <laughs> from Cousin Shade. So I, I got to imagine that uh, you're pretty fired up about this one. Well, I, I mean, put your money where your mouth is, brother. I mean, it, you look at the SEC champions that have come through here. You look at the national champions that have come through here. You do it with a good quarterback. And we all know this NIL thing has popped up, and it was going to be muddy. Mm -hmm. We didn't know exactly how it was going to play out. You know, earlier this year, I started learning about this uh, committee. or What are they calling themselves? It's like, it's like They're a, called all the collectives. Yeah, so I mean, this is this is the future, and until somebody ties down some some rules, mm -hmm. uh, it's it is kind of the wild wild west, and they're kind of finding themselves. But I think this is a glimpse now, of the future. Hold on, real second, because maybe I'll yeah. explain that a little bit more in depth for because maybe yeah. maybe some people are totally unaware of what a collective is, and and of course with the NIL, you know, it's it's easy to point at A and M, and there's and you know you say like Jimbo and all and A and M's right. paying all this money. These NILs and these collectives, they have – they're not even run by the school. So, we need to make no. that clarification. But what when we say collective, what that is, is essentially, let's say, Tennessee supporters or Alabama supporters right. or Georgia supporters, and they pool their money together via this – what's called a collective – and, you know, maybe a fan puts in a hundred bucks, maybe a fan puts in a thousand, mm -hmm. maybe a fan puts in a million. I mean, there's, I all don't, right. I don't believe there's a limit to anything you can do, but if you pool all those resources together, obviously you can do a lot more with that. And I have heard from boosters of programs saying, you know, they, they're asking for money and they're asking for <laughs> incredible, incredible amounts more than you would have ever imagined. And that's how you get uh, an offer here for $8 million for an unnamed mm -hmm. prospect that I have to assume is a quarterback. And, uh, you know, read into that how you will. But I'm sorry, I just I didn't want to cut you off. I just wanted to explain that no, a little no, further. No, no. And it's important, too. Can you kind of explain? I mean, because what why there's so much smoke where there's fire kind of situation here is what states are allowed to do this mm -hmm. as high school athletes. Not, not every high school – athlete in the United States has equal rights for, I guess, getting money for name image likeness right now. Is that right? There's only a handful of states that, that legally allow it. Right. So you have to remember when this all came about, Shane, I believe it was Florida was the first state to pass it. Mm -hmm. And a quarter, like a, a day later, Georgia said, well, hell, we're in it because you can't fall behind the Gators. Right. And then Alabama was right around the corner. And all these states, one by one, it was a domino effect. And it was just going across the country. And the NCA kind of washed their hands of it and said, we're going to allow this across the country, no restrictions. But there's still a state-by-state state differences. And California right. is a unique state 
to where you can collect NIL even in high school. Mm-hmm. And a perfect example is the state of Texas, Shane, where they are not allowed to do this. And, yeah. you know, this is something we hit on about a year ago because there was an elite quarterback in the state of Texas. His name was uh, – his name's Ewers. I, I think it's Quinn Ewers. And he was the guy that went to Ohio State. He basically said, okay, I'm surrendering. I'm not going to go to high school my senior season because I got a million-dollar offer. I'm going to go play for Ohio <laughs> State, get that NIL. And he has right. since transferred all back to Texas. So, <laughs> hey, credit him, man. That was just his smooth way of getting a million early. But, you know, that's why he left the state of Texas because they, right. they are not allowed to take his money. Now, in California, they are. So, mm-hmm. this is a California athlete. Now, here's the tricky situation, Shane. You are not allowed to pay a prospect NIL money for his commitment. Right. Now. But. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to wait for them to, to get there if it's a if it's a collective. But again, these states allow it. So it's just a, it's an interesting situation. And here's another another added layer to this, Shane. You know, I'll just go out there. I, I'm in a weird spot here because I don't know what I'm supposed to say and what I'm not supposed to say. But there's, you know, the, the the rumors are this is a quarterback headed to Tennessee potentially. Right. But there is nothing in place that says Alabama, Georgia, UCLA, you name the school, can't say, oh, $8 million. We like him. <laughs> Here's $10 million. And he's they're allowed right. to do that. So. This is by no means a, a done deal, and uh, that that's where we are with this NIL. I mean, it, they can accept a better offer that right. may be coming down the pike. So, uh, again, this is not, uh, you know, someone paying and they've locked down a recruit because we're, we are literally in the wild west of this stuff. But, uh, you know, this is potentially what it's going to take for a team like a Tennessee potentially mm-hmm. to lock down maybe the next Cam Newton and, and – turn the fortunes of the program is every right. player worth eight million dollars hell no but if you are at a disadvantage on the football field right now and here's your opportunity we all know how important a quarterback is look at lsu with joe burrow how that thing turned right. around and alabama they've been dominant with these quarterbacks hell they've been dominant regardless but they took it to <laughs> another level with these right. quarterbacks. look at a and m when they had johnny menzel auburn with cam newton we could go on and on Mississippi State with Dak Prescott. I mean, th- th- it's just such a game changer. It's an equalizer. And if your roster does not quite stack up with an Alabama, with a Georgia, but you have a major, major advantage at that quarterback spot, you can close that gap much, much quicker. So at the end of the day, it may be worth it for a school like a Tennessee uh, to to make this offer. And, again, we're not saying that's specifically who this is, but right. th- that is – you know, but that's you have to be an idiot not to at. see that online, you know. Yeah, but to pretend that this wasn't happening in years past is is what's laughable to me. Is yeah. you know when you get online, you see people talk about, oh my god, I can't believe they're paying recruits. Mm-hmm. Do you think they weren't paying recruits in the '80s or the '90s? Hell, we just got busted handing out McDonald's bags. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is this is happening, and it has been happening for a long, long time. The the joke about Saban's Chargers running around. People are getting paid to play college. Now, they're not getting it paid from the university, but they're but now they can be open about it. And, and if you think some of these contracts that these kids are signing aren't going to be I, – I don't know what you said. Like, you made an interesting comment that it's not well, – how did you word that? With the uh, – like, signing the letter of intent is not a stipulation for signing this NIL likeness deal. Is that what you're saying? Correct. Yeah, you're but, not you're not allowed to write that in at any point. And these contracts cannot even have the name of the school in it. But the but way it has to be implied, man. I I mean, when you're throwing eight million dollars around, it mm-hmm. has to, it, there's something attached to it because these guys are too smart. These girls and girl, guys, they're way too smart to just put together this much money and hope a kid comes to the university. They're not going to do that without some sort of contingency plan or backup or wormhole to get out of it Mm -hmm. well it is interesting you mentioned that Shane because I I assume a lot of people now would also say with the transfer portal and everything that goes with that what's to stop a guy from signing and then immediately Uh turning around and leaving like the quarterback that went to Ohio State now he's at Texas now apparently they're writing into these NIL deals 
you know, they can't stop you from doing that. They can't stop you from right. transferring. But what they can do is it doesn't matter what school you're at. We control your NIL, all the money you get from it. So let's say a guy was to go to Tennessee and then after a year say, well, hell, I'm going to Georgia. Mm -hmm. Feel free, brother. But every dollar you make in NIL, <laughs> we control it. So <laughs> it, it, wouldn't, yeah. it would not be in that player's advantage to, to transfer, if that makes sense. Right. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's like I said, it is muddy and it is murky and it's going to take a while for it to level out. And, but I mean, it, we were expecting something like this last year, but I, I got a text from a buddy. Um, I want to say it was toward the end of the last season about these committees. Mm -hmm. and, and basically they're running these donation pages. And if you want to be a part of it, if you want to be part of the next quarterback or running back or defensive back or whoever's coming to your team, you can literally give these guys money just like you would a, a GoFundMe page. And and next thing you know, the more money you got to play with or the more money this, these committees got to play with, the more recruits you're going to have on your campus. And I love the fact that Tennessee name keeps, keeps throwing around right now. As a Tennessee fan, I, I like it, man. Hey, Tennessee's ready to pay. We want to pay for national championships. We want to pay to be good again. You know, so I, I'm I'm all for it. But, again, I can see opposing fan bases, you know, getting away from, from you know, what we were raised. It's it's different. Times are different, man. You know, times are changing. And, and it's it, there's going to be some adjustment periods, just like there was with this transfer portal. There's going to be adjustments with this NIL. And I don't think – you know, there's there's a lot of people chirping, and and it wouldn't surprise me if if, if something comes out of this where we, you know, we're, I don't know, somebody somebody gets exposed. I mean, there's going to be a lot of loose ends here. So I just, when you're talking that much money, I I just I don't know, man. These guys are they're just too smart. They have to be when you're talking that many zeros to just, you know, let a kid have money just in case they come to your university. It just blows my mind. So. I'm kind of interested. I am very interested to see how this plays out. What do you think old Pruitt's thinking about Shane after this is kind of what he was doing? Mm -hmm. He got kicked to the curb course. <laughs> he was doing it illegally. And I know there's nothing. He done signed, man. <laughs> he would have done signed. We wouldn't even heard about this 8 million. It already been, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He'd roll up to school committed. So, uh, no, you got, that's what's, if this is university where again, we're not, we don't like to speculate, but you know, if this is Tennessee, they they are under investigation, so they got to be really careful <laughs> how this situation plays out. So, uh, but I don't know, man. I, it, it is what it is, and, and and if it is true, hell yeah, give me a give me a top tier quarterback at my university, baby. I'll. I would rather win a natty and then go back on probation than just go back to a six-win season. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't absolutely. want to go back there. We're moving forward, baby. 